Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can bring that portrait mode from the newer iPhone models to the old ones. So for example, the iPhone 6S in here, a pretty nice iPhone model, a pretty fast device, uh, but it doesn't have the portrait mode, obviously, because it has just one lens on the back. So yeah, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can do exactly that, bring the portrait mode, not the full featured one, uh, but to any iPhone model that has that one single lens on the back. And obviously, guys, you will need to have the the iOS 12 installed on here or iOS 12.4 not anything above it because uh, we will need a jailbreak for this one so you will need also to have the Cydia application installed and also if you don't have that application yet I'm gonna link the tutorial down below for you guys in the description so you can watch how to do this and now let's go ahead and get started and okay so let me go ahead and show you first how that actually works and looks like so when we launch camera here is that tweak and it looks exactly like that so here is the button which actually toggles that portrait mode you don't have that native selection let's say uh, like in the iPhone 11 or 10 uh, but here's the button which activates that and I actually tested this one out and let me just show you a kind of a demo photographs which I've taken and uh, so yeah it, it's it's super hard to, to see where that portrait mode is but it actually works uh, and I'm gonna tell you why so here on this photograph as you can see there is no like portrait mode overlay in that corner but when we go to this photograph as you can see it says portrait mode uh, so when we click on edit now you'll be able to actually adjust that portrait mode effect or let's say a mode uh, so yeah it's a pretty nice addition to that actual application or tweak so as you can see yeah, I can switch between those so it doesn't have all of these but yeah everything that you have on the iPhone 10 for example is present here first of all go ahead and launch the Cydia application which I've already talked about and you will need to add a repository so there's an official one which is paid and also an unofficial which uh, actually allows you to just test it uh, test it on your device and see if you actually like it so uh, this is the one I'm gonna also link these two repositories down below for you guys in the description so this is the one that offers this uh, tweak for free this is the one that actually has that tweak paid so if you really enjoy this you can go ahead and pay for this tweak uh, but basically go ahead and, and just add these repositories to your uh, Cydia application just click on edit it's add and type it in at source and after this you will see this on your city application now you can go ahead and go inside of the search and now search for that tweak it's called portrait so here is this one so this is the cracked one which is obviously free and here is the official one so yeah just pick for yourself the, what, uh, the version you guys need so I've already installed this one just for demoing this on the video because obviously the developer didn't pay me anything for this uh, but yeah you just basically click on install and and this application or its week should be installed and now right after this go ahead and go inside your settings and then scroll down until you see that tweak so here is this one and click on enabled after this you don't need to respring your device you just basically go inside a camera application once again and you will see this new button appearing right in that corner so let me show you guys a quick demo here so when I try to for example make a photograph with that portrait mode let me just focus on that uh, little plant so yeah, it says saving image and now it should be here. So as you can see, that says portrait. Now I'm going to disable that and take the other one. And they, they should be actually pretty similar. But after that, you can just go ahead and click on edit and adjust that portrait mode. And you obviously can go ahead and disable that. So yeah, it's very hard to see, but it's still present there. So it uses the same algorithms that Apple does. And you can see that's in the different conditions how that actually works.